Welcome to delicious and delectable desserts. Today we will be making pistachio macaron filling for your lovely macarons. So you'll need three egg whites, and so if you know how to take the yolk out, go ahead and do that. And then you'll also be needing two and a half sticks of butter. So two and a half sticks of butter, and then also some pistachios. I bought a bag of pistachios and it worked great. I just chopped them up really well. You'll also need sugar, so I used baker sugar. It's really nice because it's all ground up really well and really fine, so. So, of course, ingredients aren't the only thing you need. You'll be needing some appliances. So, I have a few things that I've gathered and you'll also need a really clean kitchen. So first of all, you'll need your kitchen aid. Mine is red, but yours can be any other color. And then you will need your paddle and your whisk. Also, you will be needing um, a one fourth of a cup measuring cup to measure three fourths of a cup of sugar. And then you'll need a small shallow saucepan. And the one thing to make sure is that your KitchenAid bowl can fit in the saucepan. That will be so you can heat up your ingredients easily. And so that's what you'll need. Without further ado, let's begin. So first, you're gonna be chopping up your pistachios. And the reason why we're gonna chop them up, as you can guess, is that you don't bite into your macaron and find a whole pistachio. going to measure all your pistachios into about one fourth of a cup. It can, you can put more or less depending on your taste or your customer's taste. So I'm just doing a little less than one fourth of a cup. Then you're going to set that aside and start on the actual filling. So when you have your saucepan of simmering water, you're going to put it on low heat and you're going to put three fourths a cup of sugar and your egg whites in and beat it up until the sugar all dissolves fully. And the way to test it is you're gonna just stick your fingers in and do a filling test and if you can feel the sugar, then you mix it more. So as you can see, I am beating this mixture until it has stiff peaks. So I'm testing for the stiff peaks and they're not yet forming quite, so I'm going to um, beat it again for a few more minutes. So again, I will test for the stiff peaks, and this time it looks like they are they are forming. So that's as good as a stiff peak as we're gonna get today, but it could be a little stiffer. So now that the peaks have formed, I'm gonna add a one fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. So now we have our Swiss meringue, and now we just need to add the butter and the pistachios. But first, I'm going to switch it to the paddle. Gradually, you will want to add your butter a few tablespoons at a time. butter is all mixed in, I'm going to add the pistachios, just a little at a time. And in the end, it should look something like this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.